my name is Luna Page. This is my third video that I'm doing for the Cape Town Music Academy. If you are not in a band and you're a solo artist and you make use of session musicians, how do you choose them? First of all, they need to be professional. Professional, what does that mean? They mean they have to be very good at what they do. They need to be on time for rehearsals. They need to be on time for performances. They need to understand that you are their client and they need to adhere to that and also adhere to your requests, such as the way they should be dressed for the performance, etc. etc. Secondly, I think it's really important that you choose a session musician that suits your style of music. Most session musicians have taste, of course, and music styles that they really relate to or are drawn towards. And very often that style does not necessarily coincide with your style. I think it's imperative that you work with people that resonate with the style of music that you make and enjoy making it. Thirdly, understand that they are a part of a whole and that they have a role to play and a responsibility towards the whole group and that they do not overplay um, just for the sake of overplaying and that they take shine when it is their time to take shine. It can get quite uncomfortable if someone is just all over the place because they like being in the spotlight. Then it's important, I think, to work with artists that respect your creative process. Session musicians usually have a very strong theoretical sense and are very good in their instruments. Singer-songwriters often are not. They are definitely not always aficionados in theory and sometimes they have their own unique little musical language that they convey their messages in. And a good session muser understands it and is patient with it and, and really tries to get there with the singer-songwriter. Um, I think it's important that you get along. Personality clashes off stage generally tend to go on stage as well. And there is just this uh, fact that when you perform together, it's an intimate experience. You are showing people, your fellow musicians, your vulnerability, and you need to feel safe with these people. And if you don't feel safe, it takes away the joy, and joy is what it is all about. I think. It's also important that you respect your fellow musician by giving them the ammunition to be professional. In other words, being prepared yourself for rehearsals and for gigs. Sometimes you're not, but then you can't expect them to be either. And then to pay them what you said you're going to pay them and pay them when you said you were going to pay them. And if for some reason it's not possible, sometimes bad things happen, that you keep the communication channels open and that you're transparent about what's going on. And if you have a good track record and you have... Um, you know, mutual respect for each other, then usually session musicians are quite lenient because they understand when you succeed, I succeed and vice versa. Um, my last point that I basically wanted to make was just that just as session musicians play with a variety of artists to expand their skill set, to become more versatile and to expand their network and enhance their careers just so you as a solo artist have the right to work with a variety of session musicians, especially if you are dabbling in new genres or new styles or if you feel that you just want to give yourself a different edge by playing with someone else. Um, this is really something that I believe in. If you have one sound that you want to have for the rest of your life, it's nice to play with the same musicians all round. Because you build a bond, they get to understand your language, they just get you and you almost you become friends. Unfortunately, session musicians become popular, they become in demand and they have less and less time. So it is usually better to have more than one option um, so that you can take care of your career. So that's that. Thank you. While crossing this bridge, bridge that burns